been an amazing uh, conference. The cross-collaboration potential is enormous. Getting people in the same room sparks ideas. Um, so much, I'm taking notes constantly and the ideas are just coming, you know, in rapid fire. And then having the opportunity at the social hours to talk with everyone, just sort of throw some ideas out, get other people's thoughts. Um, again, just collaborations uh, evolving everywhere. And I think that's probably the spirit of the conference and it's just been an amazing experience. So many years ago, I was challenged with the idea of how can we maximize the gift of donation? What tissues are we not using that we could use when someone does actually give the gift of donation of their bodies? And uh, one of the things that I learned was that we don't really use skeletal muscle, it's, it's thrown away. And yet skeletal muscle is a very big source of stem cells and, um, and also just of an of a incredible biologic scaffold. We started out with a pilot study that was so wildly successful, I actually didn't believe the results at first, and then we moved on to a com uh, confirmatory study, which also shows the same results. We also started thinking, and this is again inspired by Johnny's work in aging, how some of these technologies could be used to improve muscle loss with aging as well. And as we began to work together, sort of more ideas were generated and the thought process became broader and deeper in so many ways and started to expand into aging and diseases of aging. And so now I believe that this collaboration between CSU, my home institution, and, and Spry will be a career-long experience for me and I hope for Johnny as well. Just the overall synergy between the two has just been uh, beyond my wildest expectation. <laughs>